Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. Drone pilots aid Hurricane Harvey recovery. DJI introduces unique sphere mode at IFA 2017. Lily Drone is back under new ownership. Hi, I'm Brie Cross. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 195,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. Vehicles once criticized as hazardous are coming to the rescue for those harmed by Hurricane Harvey. The tragedy of the hurricane was preceded by numerous warnings about drone use throughout the area as hazards to rescue operations. And then those rescue operations turned more and more to all manner of unmanned drones and UAS in order to significantly augment their capabilities with a resulting positive effect on rescues as well as the ability to better analyze the area's damages. Better yet, professional and hobby drone operators volunteered to work with authorities to increase the available fleet of drone surveillance operations with the aid and support of the FAA, who cleared well over 100 authorizations before, during, and after Harvey's landfall. Commercial operators have been kept busy. Railroad companies surveyed damage along major rail lines. Oil and energy companies looked for damage to their facilities. Fire departments and county emergency management officials operated drones to check for damage to roads, bridges, underpasses, water treatment plants, and other infrastructure. State environmental officials flew drones to evaluate flooding and drainage impact, while cell companies conducted damage assessments. Operators supporting insurance companies conducted damage assessments of residences and businesses to speed up the claims process. In other words, drones to the rescue. In the next Drone Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. The State Parks Division of Washington State has posted its own drone regulations. The parks allow the use of remote-controlled aircraft, UAVs, and such on a limited basis, but permits are required for each instance of their use. Permit application require two-week lead times, and a non-refundable application fee of $25 is due upon submission of a permit application, though additional fees may be assessed. Ouch! This is taking vertical landings to a whole new level. The multimodal autonomous drone was developed by researchers at the University of Sherbrooke in Canada. SMAD is a fixed-wing drone with the ability to land on a vertical surface like a wall or tree and stay there. To develop the technique, engineers studied how birds take off and land and installed similar mechanisms on the aircraft. They have achieved a 100% success rate for landing on vertical surfaces. A new, first-of-its-kind, used drone brokerage service has been officially launched. DroneFax includes physical inspection of every vehicle by a licensed FAA technician. The service is designed to give both sellers and buyers peace of mind and ensures a fair transaction. Quote, we're aiming to be more than a marketplace for used drones, explains Dory Sargent, media coordinator for DroneFax. Call it the coolest UAV ever, but final launch preparations are underway for the fifth mission of the unmanned X-37B orbital test vehicle. The OTV is scheduled to launch on September 7, 2017, aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 launch vehicle. The fifth OTV mission continues to advance the X-37B's performance and flexibility as a space technology demonstrator and host platform for experimental payloads. This thing is so cool that a Horizon hobby model can't be far behind. The AeroNews crew is assembling an expert, if not eclectic, crew of drone pilots and reviewers to test and evaluate the latest in unmanned technology for the AMA drone report as well as our Airborne Unmanned Program for AUVSI. Commercial drone pilot and FPV racer Casey Seedlock is on board, as well as former AOPA president Phil Boyer, who has become a serious drone proponent. We're looking for your input on what vehicles, accessories, and products 
we need to evaluate in order to give you solid info on the products that interest you. Requests may be emailed to jim at news.net. That was our Drone Minute, now back to the rest of the news. DJI has introduced two new drones, the Mavic Pro Platinum and Phantom 4 Pro Obsidian, and announced an intriguing new sphere mode for the Spark at IFA 2017 in Berlin. The DJI Mavic Pro Platinum offers an 11% gain in flight time, taking it up to 30 minutes, coupled with a 60% noise power reduction. Additionally, the drone sports an attractive platinum colored shell. With the newly introduced sphere mode and the panorama photo featured, users now have more ways to enjoy the spark and can easily produce a panoramic photo with a fisheye lens effect. This sphere can then be shared directly to social media sites, some of which already support interactive images. The new feature will be included soon in the forthcoming DJI GO 4 mobile app and Spark firmware updates. And the Phantom 4 Pro is back with a new professional appearance, a sleek matte gray obsidian color shell featuring a magnesium, electroplated, and anti-fingerprint coated gimbal, which requires a higher standard manufacturing technique. The Lily flying camera drone was one of those meteoric rise and fall stories that ended with the company filing for bankruptcy in February, and many of the buyers who pre-ordered through a Kickstarter campaign are still waiting for their refunds. But some of the assets of the company were purchased by an established California drone retailer called Moto Group, and the drone has been revamped, outfitted with a 4K camera, and is now available for order with shipping expected in two to four weeks. This is a new aircraft with many of the same features that attracted the original investors to the Lily drone in the first place. It has a follow me mode, can shoot 4K video in 60 frames per second slow motion, and 720p videos at 120 frames per second. The flight time is about 18 minutes, and it folds to be about the size of a GoPro Karma. Mind you, while it carries the name Lily, the new drone has some serious differences from what was once offered. It is not waterproof, not waterproofing the drone, makes it significantly lighter, and allows the battery to be interchangeable. The new Lily comes with two batteries and also has eight motors and rotors, rather than the four in the original. The pre-order price is $499, with that expected to climb to $699 fairly quickly. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Limited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are stream Monday through Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net and more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.